Pace. 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 Pace
my mother would think I am dead. Your family is the one that shipped you off to the convent in the first place. I am the one that rescued you. I thought I might be met with some thanks instead of- You expect me to thank you for that? Yes! You think it was easy finding you? Getting that habit and breaking into the convent? I did it because I love you. I couldn't imagine leaving you in that place, especially since it was being with me that put you there. I could never forgive myself if I had just left you there. But... But... It is all your fault. You are the reason they shipped me off. What if my family finds out? What if other people find out? So? What if they do find out? You may not care about what other people think, but I do. It isn't acceptable. No, it, it, it isn't right. Who says it isn't right? Men? Of course men say it isn't right because all they want to do is fuck. Do you think God would begrudge us of our love for one another? I mean, how can it be wrong when this, us, is so Julie, right? Julie, either my parents think I am dead and are preparing for my funeral, or they think I have run off with a woman who dresses in men's clothing. E either way... Either way, they aren't here right now. It's just you and I. No, it isn't. It is much more complicated than that, but you are just too stubborn to see it. What are we going to do? How are we going to survive? Just live out the rest of our days in hiding? I can provide for us. I know how to take care you of us. You don't know anything. I wish. What? What do you wish? I wish I had never met you. If you mean that, I will bring you back to your parents, to the convent, wherever you would like. Do you mean it? You wish you had never met me? Wish you had never kissed me? Touched me? Loved me? Don't look away! I know you love me, and you are just too scared to admit it. Well, I will say it. I love you, Marie. I will do anything for you. I have done everything for you. I love you. Marie? <laughs> it isn't fair to talk that way. You know. You know. I care for you, too. You know I love you. But what you did... What I did was for us. I could not imagine continuing on at the opera without you there to share it with. I want... I need to be with you. Thank you for listening to this episode of Vocal Canvas. This limited series podcast was made possible by the East Brunswick Public Library. Playhouse 22, Next Gen Acting, our really, really creative community writers, and our fabulously talented voiceover cast from New Jersey. Hope you enjoyed and tune in next time.